Hey, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Shopify Flow, which is a free app from Shopify, which is really useful, to Google Sheets, right? If you look at the documentation on Flow, whether it's on the Shopify site or in a lot of the other, you know, best practices and blogs and videos that are talking about using Flow, one of the things they talk about a lot is, hey, you can connect it to Google Sheets. So, for example, if you had an order come in, or a new customer, or somebody you know completed a form, you could take information from that order customer or form and uh, add it to an existing Google Sheet that you're using for whatever purposes you're using that for. And if you search on the internet for help on how to do that, um, unfortunately, one of the things that's bubbled to the top a lot is the third-party apps that get in the middle, right? So there's a lot of apps out there that connect things together in case a connection doesn't already exist. But in this case, there's already a connection between Shopify Flow and Google Sheets. So you don't need another app. Just those two things to, alone are all you need. So let's talk about how we're going to connect those two up. Here I am in a dev store that I just spun up. It's a completely empty store. And you know Shopify Flow is already added to uh, this store. And here I am in Shopify Flow. So what I'm going to do is going to create a workflow. And for my trigger, I'm just going to select um, customer. And let's just say it when a new customer is added. So customer created is our trigger. And then we're going to add an action to that. And that action is going to be to add the row in Google Sheets. Now in Shopify Flow, by default, it shows you all your installed apps, you know, connections. And this is a completely empty store. So I have no apps. There's just Shopify and there's Flow. Um, so there's no Google Sheets connector app, right? So if I click the X on this installed apps, now it's going to show all of the possible connectors that exist out there. And if you scroll down, you're going to see Google Sheets for Shopify flow. Now I got to warn you, the, the way this works is kind of kludgy. It's not elegant at all, which is why I'm walking you through this, right? So I'm going to click on that. And before you click on it, what you're going to want to be in your browser session is already logged in to, you know, I use Chrome. So I'm logged into Chrome with the email address that has access to Google Sheets, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Google Sheets for Shopify Flow, and I'm going to connect. So when I click on connect, I'm going to get this authorization thing. It says, you know, which, and this is coming from Google, right? So now we're talking to Google, and I'm going to use my email address and I want to continue. And I'm going to allow these permissions. So this is authorizing Shopify Flow to talk to your Google Drive and your Google Sheets. And then I do that. And now it says connected. You can close this page. And one of the things is when I close this, there's no real good indicator that it worked, right? Except for on my phone right now, I just heard it ding. So I just got a notification from Google that a new app has been authorized and given access to my Google Drive data. So that's that's the confirmation for me that this actually worked. Because now when I close this, right, you see here, this looks exactly the way it did a second ago. There's nothing here that says you're connected, no like little green light or anything. And let's just close that out. And let's go back to the action here. We're going to add an action. And remember, by default, it's showing my installed apps. I don't see my Google Sheets connector here, right? Um, but if I click on this, show them all, go down to my Google Sheets connector, which is you know exactly what we did before, bring it up. Now, like I said, there's no indicator that you're connected. It just says connect. But I'm confident right now that I've already been connected because I went through that process we just walked through. So now I'm going to select the action I want, which is add a row to spreadsheet. So that comes up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a row to the spreadsheet from when a customer is created. So let's start off with the row contents and let's add a variable of um, customer uh, display name. And then we'll do customer email. And we'll just add one more of shop name.
All right, so that I've added those three things in. Now, if we go to our Google Sheets, right, you'll see the next field up, right, was tab name. So here you can see my tab name is sheet one, and I just created a uh, sheet with those three fields we just talked about, display name, email address, and store. So we're going to go here, and we're going to say sheet one for our tab name. And now it wants your spreadsheet URL. And what you're going to have to do for your spreadsheet in Google is you have to make sure that everybody on the Internet that has access to the link has access to edit. Right. So if you just take the URL and, you know, this URL up here and just plug it in, it's not going to work for you. What you got to do is you got to go over to your share right here. And you want to give access. By default, this usually says restricted or Jade Puma. So I've already set it to anyone with a link is an editor so they can write and read data from it. Because if you just give them viewer access, they won't be able to add a row to it. So you got to give them editor access. Right. And then once you do that, you want to copy that link. See, done. Now we'll go back to Shopify Flow and take that URL we just copied and put it in there. So now we've added the information it wants. You can see it just saved it. We're going to turn this workflow on. All right, so that workflow is on. We're going to exit out of it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our customer tab in the Shopify admin. We're going to add a new customer. So we're just going to add a customer whose name is Testy Tester. And their email address is testy at jadepuma.com. And I'm going to save that. So now we've done the action, create new customer, that is the trigger for our flow. So now we go back to our flow. And what we should see happen is... You know, it'll show up down here. Sometimes you have to refresh. So you can see it uh, ran it and it succeeded. So I'm going to click on this element here. And it'll show you that the things that happened. Customer testy tester started your workflow, added the data. Right now, if you have a setting issue, like you haven't connected properly between flow and Google Sheets, or you did the URL or permissions wrong, you might see this here where the status has failed and we'll give you more information about that. Um, but here we can see that it worked. So now if we go to our spreadsheet, you can see there's testy tester and all that information we did. So this is how you can connect Shopify Flow to Google Sheets without any third-party apps. I hope this helps.